This video is brought to you by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I've got a customer without heat and they're smelling gas. So I need to get out there and see what's going on. Let's do some work. If you guys are looking to get some new tools, make sure you check out truetechtools.com and use my promo code QUALITYHVAC to save yourself 8%. All right, so like I said before, this system is not running and it is calling for heat. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this control panel off and see what's going on. Uh, what I'd like to do is kind of just look at the system overall and start checking things out. Just getting familiar with what I'm working on before I just dive right into it. So I got my meter out and the first thing I wanted to do is just to make sure that I am getting 24 volts from the thermostat to the system. Um, she's got a Nest thermostat now and uh, those things are so problematic I just wanted to go ahead and check. But we do. So I checked out the little LED on the control board and it gave me one blink which means we do have an ignition failure. So you have an open rollout, auxiliary switch, etc. But as you can tell, this system is really dirty. It hasn't been maintained. And um, that's gonna be probably what's going on here. So we just wanna dive into it and really see what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and check this rollout. Um, what I like to do is just check everything. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the tube here and um, on this pressure switch, just to visually check it, make sure there's no spider webs or any kind of uh, dirt daubers or anything inside there that would clog that up, even if that's not the problem today I always like to check it anyway just to make sure we're good and what I like to do is I actually suck on the hose just a little bit uh, not too much to be able to uh, audibly hear that pressure switch close open and close it's just something I like to do so what I'm going to do is just uh, pull the 24 volts off the transformer to reset the fault on this circuit board that way I can go ahead and get this thing cleared and uh, jump it out here and test it out. So this unit is not firing up and it looks like we're having a problem with the igniter. I looked down in there and I was not seeing a spark. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this igniter removed and visually inspect it and we'll just go from there. Wow, this thing is pretty dirty. As you can see all the corrosion there, it's got a lot of buildup and that's gonna stop it from getting a good spark. So I'm just gonna take some sanding cloth and get this thing cleaned up. And I'm pretty sure it'll fire up after that. All right, that is looking pretty good. Got it nice and cleaned up. So I think we're gonna be pretty good with that. I'm gonna go ahead, grab the drill here and get this reinstalled. And while I'm in this area, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove the flame sensor as well. More than likely it's got some corrosion on there as well. We need to get that cleaned up. So since I'm right here, I'm gonna go ahead and pull that out, take a look at it. Uh, in order to do that, I'm gonna grab my little right angle attachment for the drill. That's gonna allow me to get in that tight spot. So it's a nifty little tool to have in the tool bag and you never know when you might need it. Just as I thought, this thing's got some pretty good buildup on it as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the sanding cloth and get this thing cleaned up. So there's multiple ways that you can clean a, a flame sensor rod like this. Um, this is just one of the easiest ways to do it. They do make a special tool for it. I do not have that. So I just take some sanding cloth and just lightly clean it up. And then I'll take the rag and wipe it down. And that's pretty much gonna be it. And we'll get this thing reinstalled and Get it fired up.
So this one turned out to be a pretty simple fix. All I really needed to do was to clean that igniter, but while I was in there, I went ahead and cleaned that flame sensor as well. Now a good maintenance, a good cleaning, could have prevented this problem to begin with. So that is something that I recommend to the customer and they're gonna be scheduled going forward. But that's gonna to complete today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and you got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you guys later. Well, if you guys have made it all the way to the end of this video, do me a favor, go down in the comment section and give it a fist bump emoji let me know you made it all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate you guys, and I just wanted to take a moment to uh, you know, show that gratitude and let you know how much you know, this means to me. I mean, I'm having a good time making these videos, um, and all the feedback that I'm getting from you guys is just, it's through the roof. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm gonna be in Las Vegas for AHR 2022, so here just in a few months, if you guys are gonna be out there, um, hit me up, DM me on Instagram at qualityhvacr, and let me know you're going to be out there. I'd love to meet you guys in person. I just think it'd be a good time. And then also, uh, I'm thinking about starting up a merch line, so, you know, doing some shirts, some hats, uh, some stickers, you know, decals, just things like that. I, um, are you guys interested in that? You know, let me know down in the comment section. Let me know what you'd like to see, and um, we'll just go from there. But again, Really appreciate you guys, and we'll see you on the next one.